Welcome to this three minute video where we will show you okay. the basic equipment configuration and how a solid sample is tested using a Carl Fisher titrator in an evaporator oven. Okay, so we're going to start with our sample which has been cut into small pieces. So then we have our weight, 1.0262. Here's our source of nitrogen gas with a regulator. This typical bottle has 2,000 psi, and we generally have 5 to 7 psi flowing through the tube through a drying tower into the evaporator. Evaporator. Okay. Now, in this particular setup, we are going to introduce a sample by removing this cap and moving in the sample from the end. You notice it does have a bubbler, uh, a, a, a stopper here, but we do not use that for our, for our purposes. Additionally, here is where the moisture is carried through the tube into the vessel. And you can see down here where it bubbles in and that's where the, the moisture is titrated. Now we're measuring the moisture. This is your standard vessel. This is where you would do a direct injection into the port if you were using a liquid sample. Here we've replaced the stopper with the bubbler tube so that the moisture can come into the vessel. In addition, we have our detector electrode and we have our generator electrode. On top of the generator electrode we use a gas evacuation type stopper that has a hole that allows the gas to flow out, a positive pressure out of the vessel. Typically we might put this in the top instead. 